I recently went to Walmart and bought the most expensive air rifle that they had in the store. There was a bunch of different options, but this one stood out above all the rest, mostly because it was the most expensive one. We're going to be hunting a number of animals throughout this video using this air rifle. There are a lot of videos on the cheapest rifles from Walmart, but what does their top of the line have to offer? So as you can see right here, this box has been opened well because we opened the box and we got the air rifle out, okay? This is the air rifle right here. It is a breakdown barrel and actually takes a lot of force. I have a 10 pound weight restriction and boy, that probably violates every bit of it. Chambered in 22, a squirrel destroyer, a squirrel annihilator. This is what squirrels dream about. No, this is what squirrels have nightmares about when they go to sleep at night with their mouth just full of nuts. We're gonna see how much she weighs. 220 right there. So they can't say I'm a liar. There it is, it went off. Get on here with a gun. 227. This sucker weighs 7.6 pounds. Can't hit a squirrel with it. By golly, just take it off and beat the squirrel to death with it. Shoot, if you're out bear hunting, you know a 22 can can't do it. Just go to town, okay? All right, well, we got everything set up down there. There's the pellet we're going with. A good size pellet. Stick her in there. There's a little safety. You gotta push that forward to be able to shoot, which is honestly kind of nice. I kind of like that. We're just gonna send it. Looks like it's almost in the same hole. Let's go take a look down here and see what we look like. Okay, well the group's not as tight as I'd hoped, <laughs> but we're definitely to the right. We need to go that, that way to the left. Nailed it, baby. We're zeroed in. I think we are good for tomorrow. We picked up some goodies from the Dollar General. We're getting ready to use the air rifle and shoot these guys. We have a root beer, we have a can of RC, and we got a baby watermelon. POV tape before he puts any of the Dr. Peppers in the fridge inside. I oh, dang, you throwing it on the, whoa! It's gonna blow up before you even do anything. Let's shoot it. Woo! <laughs> what about that? Nailed it. Golly! Well, you hit it on the ball. Blew that sucker in two, son. If we could get to do that on a deer, we might have to save this to hunting season. That's just a joke. Don't be deer hunting with this thing. We got some Clover Valley root beer. I'm just waiting on it to blow up. Root beer going out. Yeah, son. It's still going. Look at it. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, what about that? I don't know if the watermelon is going to live up to that one. Yeehaw, brother. What was that? I said, yeehaw, brother. We got a root beer soaked watermelon. Let's fire this baby up. What do you think the watermelon's going to do? Not much. Let's find out. Close. Did you see that? I'm going to send another round through it. Same hole almost. You see that? Let's go inspect the damage or lack thereof. Point blank. POV Nikki. All right, well, we got a mess to clean up here. But now we're gonna take this thing hunting, hunt a bunch of different animals. Make sure to stay tuned through the entirety of the video. You may not expect the last animal we go hunting for. Before we go after some of the bigger animals in this video, we have a huge pigeon problem. And if you didn't know, pigeons are considered invasive in North America, which I was gonna let that slide, but they started roosting under our porch and pooping on everything below, including me one time. And that's where I draw the line. All right, we have a pigeon up here on the power line right now. We're trying to take out as many as possible, so war on pigeons has ensued. Oh yeah, he's right there. All right, we're gonna be taking out as many of these guys as possible throughout the entirety of this video. Make sure to stay tuned, see how many we get. We gotta be quiet from this point onward. It's a little windy, they're already super skittish. You hit him. Let's go, baby, we got one. We do gotta finish him off. I didn't hit him too good. He might be down. Is he down? Is he down? James, I think he's down. That's what we're looking for. We got right there. Here we go, baby. One down. More to go, though. Fruits of the harvest. I hit him right there. Breast meat right there. Probably breast him out. Eat him. We actually have a few pigeons in there in the freezer that I've already breasted out, so I think that's probably what we're going to do with this guy. They're super easy. But most importantly, another pigeon, an invasive species, is down. And who knows? This could have been the guy that actually pooped on me, James. What do you got to say to him? Take that. No, I mean, mad respect. You had killer aim with his deuces. But I had killer aim with Walmart's most expensive air rifle. Sorry, buddy. We're going to use these feathers for setting our traps, by the way. We've had some chickens get gone. We're trying to catch whatever's done that. Look how easy these come out. All right, well, this is a different day. We got our boy KG out here again today, and we're actually hunting with his dog, May Joannis. That guy, I mean, she's already got one tree. I mean, literally, like, two minutes. We got the old 22 air alpha right here, and we actually got her scope cam on there, too, so uh, hopefully y'all get some good shots. We're heading down this really steep mountain right now. She's, like, tree right over in there somewhere, if you can hear. Man, ain't making it easy today. No, nah, she's, uh, she's just ripping everywhere. We're pretty much just playing jungle gym with these trees. Kind of grab one and try not to fall, if you know what I'm saying. This might be the biggest squirrel in the history of squirrels out here. She couldn't this. Maybe this is going on your legacy. There's no squirrel in here. Oh. I went for the stick and the stick broke. I don't think on camera it really don't do it justice on how steep, well, you know? I 
Yeah. That look cool. Some kind of squirrel Spider-Man or something. I am not going to attempt that. At least voluntarily. Huh. That there old girl is. Stop to it, May. Either one, May might be capping, or two, we suck at finding me. Well, the squirrel ran down a tree right then, and uh, old boy didn't have his pellet in his gun. It's like a pencil without lead, daggum it. Like a pillow without feathers. Like a daggum, you get the point. A small one. Yeah, it is. A little tiny guy. We worked hard for two nuggets. Yep. Right up here, we got some pigeons that are resting on that on that wire right up there. I'm gonna try to take a couple of them out. This is a brake barrel. See, we already scared one. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can use up to this truck. him too. Gosh darn it. I had opportunities. I hit him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him, baby. Let's go. Oh. Hi, y'all. This is the next day. We got our boy KG back here in the back. We're going to try and knock down some old gray squirrels today. Well, you rocking back there? You got the old 22? I'm rocking old 22. Very nice. Of course, we got Walmart's most expensive air gun right here. What's your game plan? You like to just walk around? I mean, you can stop, look, listen, you know, stop, drop, and roll every now and again. See movement, hear movement, smell movement. Yeah. Shoot at it. There's quite a bit of squirrel activity back in here. So we got some feathers here. Definitely something to eat back here. We got predators back in here. I know that for sure. That's why we're setting out traps right now. He didn't fall, did he? I hit him. He didn't fall. This is a 22 cal. I mean, if I missed him, he felt the smoke. See on that branch, he's on the bottom branch, standing like right here. You see him right there? On that. Oh, got he's him, baby. Down. Got him. He's dead. Let's go. Smoked him. That thing's so quiet. It is, isn't it? It's not bad at all. For, Look at that, baby. That's exactly what you pay for right there, baby. $169 that's at the Wally Dude, World. This thing's like 200 that's Really? Yeah. That's a 22? Yeah, it's a real good Dang. I thought, hey, they might be one with them. It could be. Hey, use that $169 sling. I, that's, good. that's a great point. It does come with a sling, which I got to say is pretty handy. I see you over there carrying yours around, right? You don't have, you don't have a sling? Drink some Gatorade after. I mean, your, your sway right now is way off right now. Not me, baby. $169 at Walmart. Look at my guy. I'll sprattled out. The poor guy could not have given you a better shot opportunity. He's just chilling. Just chilling. All right, where'd I get him at? Oh, oh look perfect. at that. Headshot. Perfect. Headshot. Walmart's most expensive air rifle has proven to be effective on squirrels, but we're raising the bar and tonight we're calling in the hounds, including my trusty coon hound, Tequila. All right, tonight we're going for something different. We're actually going for raccoons. So we got a bunch of hounds here. We got Tequila in here. This is actually Tequila's half brother, by the way. I think we're gonna be hunting with some of her siblings tonight. Well, we're gonna put the old pellet rifle to the test. So we took out a few different things at this point. Can we take out something a little bigger, a raccoon? But if it doesn't work, old boy right here's got something else, a little more powerful, a little 22 action. That'll probably do the job. It'll do the job, right? Yeah. He's done the job on a few. Getting the dogs collared up, going to get to the hunt spot. See you there. Now, how old is he? Five months old. It doesn't matter if he goes after anything or not. Nope. Just kind of getting him used to stuff. This guy has something they call coon paralysis. He has like some kind of paralysis in his face. His like face starts twitching and all that stuff. But like I said, this is Tequila's half brother. So I guess that one is too. I mean, it's just a big family affair tonight, you know? Raccoons are some of the toughest animals pound for pound that I've ever come across. And when you pair that with the precision required to pick them off high in a tree, they're truly a difficult animal to take down. If this rifle gets the job done, then I believe it may be worth the lofty price tag at Walmart. There we go. We got four turned loose. Hopefully it's just a matter of time before we hear that melodious sounds ringing from the mountains, James. That sound right there. That's what we're waiting on. Bad night to be a Ricky. I'm talking. You gotta give him the Nikki treatment? Huh? You gotta give him the Nikki treatment? I'm gonna give him right there. Stay tuned. We have two different trees right now that are being treated upon, so... 
We are en route to tree number one. He's riding shotgun, but by golly, I'm riding pellet gun in the back seat. So we're gonna go up there, see if we can knock it out for him. Stand back, stand by, stay tuned. You push, you push me down. Help me up. Don't pull too hard now. I'm... We're working our way back here. James a little salty because he hit the ground. So then he decided to push me down. He's got a thermal and he's just spotted a raccoon up in a tree right up there. If you hear them, yeah, they're just getting after it right now. So we're gonna get a little closer, see if we can knock him out. Man, it's brutal. Tay, I'm just gonna have to give you the phone here, dude. <laughs> so he is actually tucked down in that hole right there. They actually seen him peek his head out and he, you can pick him up on the thermal a little bit. So we definitely have one up here. He's, uh, he just got some good cover right now, so. You got a little battle scar. Oh, do I? Yeah, I didn't put the... Oh, no. I did, I, I committed the, the ultimate sin here. I didn't put the pellet gun next to my shoulder. Well, we didn't get to try it out right there on a Ricky, but uh, let's go see if we can catch another one. All right, we found our girl right here treeing hard, okay? Good job, Tequila. Good job, girl. Right there, the red light. Caught him slacking. Caught you slacking, big dog. We got a Ricky up here, boys. Let's go. We had two den trees, and we finally got one up a tree, so... Talk to him, Tequila. Talk to him. Talk to him, girl. Oh. There you go. Right there. Right there. Get him, girl. Get him, girl. Oh, that's it. That's it. Huh? Good stuff, man. Let's go. Boom. Let's go. Have a time here to life. <laughs> So the big question, is Walmart's most expensive air rifle really worth the price tag? I would have to say it probably is. So if you want a good air rifle, I do recommend this rifle. With that said, if you want to see us survive 24 hours inside a frozen cave, make sure to click right here. And click right here to see us try out the world's most expensive miniature trap. And make sure to like and subscribe.